welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just going to be talking today about the latest piece of uh, gear that I've purchased recently, which is a <coughs> four class um, 700 ultra compact um, air mattress. Um, I purchased this because I, I've been using uh, a self inflating pad for some time. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, when I was in the UK last summer uh, on my hike, um, I noticed that it had started deflating a little bit overnight, and it was only a uh, probably two or three centimeters thick anyway when it was inflated. And I kept waking up in the night with uh, painful pains in my hips and my lower back. So I thought it was probably try and, time to try something a little bit more substantial now as I've probably said before in some of my other videos I'm really quite a fan of decathlon gear and four class is a um, one of their brand names so I went down to my local four class um, sorry decathlon shop here in Tenerife where I live and purchased this now this is an air mattress um, it's incredibly small, fairly light, uh, not the lightest probably, it's 510 grams, um, that's light enough and it packs incredibly small down into this little package, a little carry handle on it there. Um, they do it in a couple of different lengths, I've got the large because I'm not overly tall, but this is um, 180 centimetres or 5 foot 11 uh, in length, which is plenty for me. I'm about 5, 9 and a half, 5, 10, something like that. And um, it's 1 foot 8 inches, 52 centimetres across. And 5 centimetres, 2 inches deep when inflated. But um, I thought I'd uh, just give you a quick look at it, um, show you how it inflates and... You know what it feels like when you're laying down on it. Okay, well I've un unfolded, unpacked the air mattress. Um, feels fairly robust. Um, top is this um, yellowy colour. Has these um, star-like sections on here which are quite sticky. Apparently this is to help um, your sleeping bag, stop it slipping around uh, while you're sleeping. Whether that is actually very effective or not, I don't know. Um, there are two valves, one for inflating and one for deflating. So as you're blowing it up, you don't have to worry about air escaping when you stop to take a breath. Um, so I'm going <coughs> to, I'm going to actually blow this up and time it, see how long it takes me to do. Okay, just plug the valve in, stop the stopwatch. That's taken me 44 seconds to blow this up and it's nicely inflated as you can see so let's lay it down on the floor and see what it feels like uh, uh, yeah that's pretty good it feels nice and comfortable nicely cushioned uh, only just wide enough. I suppose that's all you need. It's certainly long enough for me. Uh, as I say, I think there is a larger size, which I think is at least another six inches longer than this one, which if you're around the six foot mark or a bit taller, you'd probably have to buy that one. Uh, but this is quite nice. It feels quite comfortable. I can see this being... Uh, a lot better than the pad I've been using. Um, 
I should stop again. Painful hips and back. So. Okay. So. Now I'm going to deflate it. So what the air comes out immediately. Uh, just roll this up. See how long it takes to actually get all the air out. Obviously if you want to uh, return it to the stuff sack, you would obviously need to take a bit more care over how you rolled it than I'm doing at the moment. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't seem to be all that difficult to deflate actually, I thought it might be hard on this, but to be honest most of the air is coming out quite easily. Nice big valve at the end the out valve and there that's it um, as I say obviously that's not going to go back in the stuff sack like that but if you wanted to put it back in the stuff sack and I probably wouldn't bother while I was actually using it out on the trail but um, you know if you want to pack it away when you got home you'd have to take a bit more care uh, with folding it but that's pretty small and flat and was stuffed nicely away in the corner of a rucksack somewhere so and that took probably less time to deflate than it took to inflate right so there it is all deflated um, <clears throat> as you can see I haven't taken much care over how I've done it um, so you, you I mean if you want to put it into the uh, back into the stuff sack you'd need to take a bit more care over how you uh, folded it when it when you were deflating it but when I'm out on the trail, um, I probably wouldn't bother putting it back in the stuff sack. Um, I just stick it somewhere in the rucksack and uh, just use the stuff sack when I to store it when I got it back home. Um, to be honest, um, I've never really used an air mattress before because I've always been a bit concerned about uh, getting a puncture. So I guess some sort of puncture repair kit would be advisable. Uh, just in case, otherwise you'll end up with nothing to uh, sleep on at night if you did get a puncher out on the trail. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This cost me um, 39.95 euros in uh, decathlon in Tenerife, where I bought it from. Um, I think it's a similar price in the UK in pounds, probably a f probably a few pounds less actually, probably about 36 something like that, but fairly similar um, yeah um, I say it's a new piece of kit haven't used it as as such but I will be using it in the spring on uh, a fairly extended hike so when I get back from that I'll uh, make another video tell you how it got on how how it felt um, how it performed on the trail and if I had any problems with it okay um, if you found any value in this video at all, please um, give the video a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to my channel for further updates and take care and see you in the future. Bye.